Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of my playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. Thank you for joining me again. In this episode, we are going to get back into the main quest. We don't have any other quests, really. We have this side quest where we're supposed to be finding these uh, power cells. And of course, I'm going to keep an eye out for those. We have no errands, no bandit camps, no tall necks. Hunting grounds, we're done with all of those. There's no cauldrons that I'm aware of. I'm pretty sure we've done all the cauldrons. There are still corrupted zones out there on the map, but I don't feel like doing them right now. And there's still this one tutorial here that, if I remember it, maybe we will uh, take care of that at some point. But right now we're going to do uh, Deep Secrets of the Earth. Aloy explores the ancient ruins beneath the citadel and unravels the unbelievable truth of Project Zero Dawn. We're supposed to go to Sunfall. Evidence indicates that the facility where Elizabeth Sobek worked on Project Project Zero Dawn lies buried beneath the Citadel. But before we do that, let's uh, take a look at our inventory here. Uh, I really haven't been using these cool gold weapons that we've got, so I think that we should start using them. Um, I don't have them equipped or anything. Uh, I am a little sad that there is not a Shadow Bow. The Shadow Bow is my favorite bow. And it's the one I, f I use the most often. And we did not get a Lodge Shadow Bow, which is kind of a bummer. Um, let's see here. Here's my Shadow... No, that's the War Bow. Okay, I, I guess I mean Sharp Shot Bow, not Shadow Bow, because Shadow is just a different thing. I wish that I had a Lodge Sharp Shot Bow. This is my favorite bow. Uh, right now I do have it equipped, and... <laughs> If we go to cra the crafting screen and uh, we look at it, we'll see that we've got some tear stuff in it right now, which is great for tearing, uh, but not great if we want to do damage. So we'll have to uh, keep this in mind here uh, but next time before we go fighting. Do we want this bow to do damage or do we want it to do tear? I'm going to go ahead and put some damage stuff in here. Uh, just because I think that's probably, it's more likely we'll come across something that we want to do damage to. And then, uh, if it's otherwise, I'll try to remember to change that. Um, let's see, we've also got this bow here. This one does freeze, corruption, and, uh, shock. Which makes this bow kind of disappointing to me because I really don't feel like I do any of those all that frequently. Um, but we're going to go ahead and um, modify it, and we'll make it a really good freezy bow, just for the heck of it. And if we want to use it for something else, then we'll change it at the appropriate time. Uh, this thing right here, the rope caster, I have real good handling on it. I'm not sure that's what I want, but I'm going to leave it on there. And this thing I have uh, set up just for pure damage. Um, I guess it's really only our choice, either that or handling. It's not like we could put, you know, uh, fiery stuff on it or anything. But uh, let's go ahead and equip ourselves with these things so that I don't forget about them. We'll put this one in this slot. And we'll stick this one down here. And we'll stick this one up here. So now I have three... Well, I have all three of the Lodge weapons equipped. We'll see if I like them or not. And then uh, our outfit, the outfit that we're currently wearing is this one right here, Karja Blazon Heavy. The showy armor of Karja Nobles in Hunter's Lodge Elites, leather strips cured in plant oil protect from fire damage. So this one's real good against fire. Um, yeah, that's great if we're going to fight something, you know, that uh, shoots fire at us. I have no idea what it is we're going to, if we're going to uh, run across. Um... So I'm not really sure which uh, which thing to put on right now. I'll just have to try to remember uh, to put something on. Actually, I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to put this silent one on and uh, just run silently. So we'll put that on right now. Another thing that I wanted to uh, point out is... I didn't notice this, but here in the notebook, um, we've got our game progression. And look right there at the top center of the screen. It says game progression. Game completion, 89.72%. So we are pretty far into this game. It is a big game. Uh, so the remaining uh, 10 plus percent there uh, may still be quite a bit of work. 
and um, I wouldn't be surprised if there is still quite a bit of work left to go. But right now we want to go to Sunfall, so let's go ahead and just uh, bring up our map, and we're going to go ahead and fast travel up here to Sunfall. Uh, I could just fast travel right here. Let's see how this goes. We still have 17 uh, fast travel packs left. Um, when we run out of those, uh, I'll, perhaps I'll go back to Meridian and get the uh, the golden travel pack. But I need a fox skin, I think, for that. I need something from a fox. I can't remember what. Um, but you know, I've got I've got so many fast travel packs left that I'm not I'm not really worried about. I don't care if I use them up, and I really don't care if I need to use. Uh, resources to craft them because I have so many freaking resources. In fact, before I started this episode, I went back to the merchant and I sold off a bunch of uh, resources. I sold off a bunch of modifications. Boy, I'm losing my voice here. Hold on just a second. And um, just, you know, got my uh, inventory down to what I feel like is a more manageable number. And something I noticed, I don't know if there's been an update to this game, but holy cow, this thing has taken a long time to load. I don't know what's going on here. But uh, yeah, when I when I started up the game, I was like, okay, any day now. And now it seems like it's taken a really long time to load up this next part of the game. Of course, we are traveling very far. This is a completely different part of the map. Sunfall. A mad king drowned summer palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling forbidden west. Thanks for the history lesson. Mm -hmm. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, so we've gone to Sunfall. Or I guess we haven't, have we? How come it still says go to Sunfall? We're here. What? What are you talking about, dude? Uh, I'm just going to kind of take a look around and just see if any exclamation marks show up on my compass, but they didn't. I was wondering if maybe there was new quests here that we had missed. Okay, we are in Sunfall now. Go to the Citadel Courtyard. Well, Citadel Courtyard's right up through here. I guess we're just going to waltz on in here. You know, whatever. They'll let us in, right? My um, focus doesn't show anything. And... <sighs> In an earlier episode, we took down the uh, the network. How is it that Silence is still able to communicate with us? And how is it that our focus still works? Or does it still work? I don't know. I'm assuming it still works, but uh, yeah, there's people down there. There's um, Abbas, and there's the uh, campfire. What's Abbas doing over here? I don't think this is where he was before. What if we... Um, Stopped back uh, back by and said hello to Abba, see how things are going. Hey, what's up? You'll get nothing from me off with you? What? Why are you talking to me like that? I guess I don't know who this guy is. I thought he was the guy with the sick daughter, but I guess he's not. Huh. I kind of remember his name. His name seems familiar, but uh, I don't remember anything about him, obviously. Well, let's go to the Citadel Courtyard, since that is what our little quest thing is telling us to do. So how come they're not attacking us? How come we're just able to just walk on in here? Pretty sure I already talked to this guy, and we got our free treasure box, and indeed we did. So, and I don't know whether I checked him for new weapons, but we're gonna do a quick scan. I see no new weapons, and no new outfits either. I'm just checking. You know, I'd hate to miss something. Excuse me. I guess the courtyard is up these stairs here. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. What are you talking about? <laughs> Did I crash the network or not? In theory, all should be well. <sighs> That's why they're not attacking us. So that bow looks pretty cool on her back there, right? With that gold on it? That's pretty neat. Uh, I don't know where her other weapons are. Where are you hiding your other weapons, Aloy? Hi, how's it going? If you want my valuables, you'll find them in Meridian. 
Oh, okay. Well, then I'll see if I can find him. The true Karja will honor the ceasefire. Okay. But can we expect... Well, we're in. So, so far so good. Well, look at all those guys. How'd you like to have to fight them? Whoa! What the... Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. That was weird. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. That was weird. What the heck was with that really quick loading screen there? Huh. Well, here's the Citadel. We're here. Let's go ahead and uh, do a quick save at this uh, campfire before my game crashes or something. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Well, that's not very safe. There's no railing there. Hey, here's something for us. Let's just go ahead and help ourselves. Uh, metal shards and some chill water. What? Metal shards and a metal... Was there two things there? I'm not sure what just happened there. Uh, let's see. There's something over here. Let's go pick it up. Let's take from these jerks. These guys are a bunch of jerks. We're going to take their stuff. Hey, jerks. Alright. Took that stuff. Uh, there's a bunch of people over there. Odund, Elkind, Cam, Yun. Those sound like Osram names, don't you think? Uh, okay, there's a boar. Let's see what's going on over here with all these named people. We can either go up there or we can go up here, so of course we're going to go this way. Huh. Uh, over there is another supply crate. Hey, Down there. Hey, we have nothing for you. Go on, move. Oh, sorry, jeez. Yeah. So, so far I haven't seen anybody even care that we're stealing from them. I don't care. I don't care at all, man. see anything else around here. We need to make sure that we stock up on everything we can stock up on. It's very important, you know. So there's those dudes. We'll go over there in just a minute. I'm gonna go down here and get this, uh... This last, uh... Oh, this one's got a green thing. This last supply crate here. Let's go grab it. Ooh, ooh. Bunch of fun stuff here. Uh, let's see. Let's look at our inventory and we'll look at our uh, treasure boxes. Uh, shard Gambler's Box. View contents. Metal shards. Well, that would have been a ripoff. View contents. 75 metal shards. Okay, that's pretty good. And then these are all the modification boxes. Um, I mean, really, that's garbage. I don't want that. Garbage. Garbage. So these are crap. That one's not bad. But overall, I find these to be very disappointing. There's no purples. Oh, there is a purple. Yeah, I'll take that one. Let's see if we need more purples. The other ones, if I remember, I'll open them and sell them at a merchant. But I'll do that off screen so you don't have to watch me do that. Actually, I should probably do this part off screen too. Because this is just gripping, gripping entertainment right here. Okay, so now let's go up here and see what's up with these guys. So with all these named dudes. Outlanders, if you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Yeah. Filthy mercenary bottom feeders. I'll take the shards. Even if it means having a listen of Bahamas. I hear the Shadow Carnages are looking for one of their own. What are you waiting around for, Outlander? Bounties are announced inside. Who are you? What's up? Don't bother me, Outlander. All the bounties are announced in the throne room. Why do you talk like that? Don't bother me, Outlander. All the bounties are announced in the throne room. Alright. Well, let's go find out about bounties, I guess. Just doing another quick scan around here to see if there's anything worth looking at. There they are there now. Okay, let's go on in. Enter the citadel. What's up, guys? How's it going? Don't try anything. Don't try anything? What kind of attitude is that? You're never going to get anywhere in life with that attitude. Here we are in the citadel. Oh, 
nice hat. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king. The light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. It's a little kid. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Mm. Love your hair. Not only did the wretch conspire to you and I need to chat, Citadel, little Huntress. The green the tent king, down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. Fled, and in doing so, demonstrated wanton disregard for the safety We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. Do we know who Uthid is? So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Whoa. Citadel, gotta see the Oh, so we have a new side quest. For the Kestrels. Ah, Let's listen to they this. They want us to see this, boy. It makes quite an impression. makes me anxious. Oh, okay, I don't know what they were talking about. So, we've got Kikuk. We've got Nulat. We've got Yun. Over here is Cam. This is Another Merciful savage. Usus. At least it's not as bad as Marie. Here is Relentless Shibin and Savage Terav. Oh, the kid's gone. Hey, what's up? I am Merciful Usus, Shield of Bahavas. Merciful. My <laughs> enemies die fast. <laughs> you test my patience. Yeah, what about this? You test my patience. How about now? You test my patience. Yeah, I do. What about this guy? I am Relentless Shivan. I guard the High Priest. From what? <laughs> Whatever troubles him. So don't. <laughs> On your way. On your way. All right, what about you? What do you have to say? They call me Savage Tarav, Protector of Lucent Bahavas. Protector or Enforcer? Depends on where the shadow falls. Now, on your way. All right. Off with you. Oh, off with you. All right. Um, can we talk to these people? Nora. You have the mark of a seeker. It's more complicated than that. I'm an outcast. Like you. Yes. I am Yun. These are the shunned. We'll take any job, but hunting our hated tribe? That's for free. Keep that in mind. Why did they cast you out? Murder. You? Mm, birth. Huh. <laughs> How disappointed all mother must be with us. You remind me of a brave, but she's dead now. Hmm. Nora. Oh. You have the mark of a seeker. It's more Alright, so we already saw this, so I skipped through it. Mm. Huh. Alright. Uh do any of these other people have new things Another to say? Nora outside the sacred land. Banishment is a bitter draft. Is it? What? Oh, that's it? Okay. I hunt Sorry, with Kikuk. Speak with him if you must. Like it was oh, yeah? Worse. Okay. Why do you talk like that? Too much... Too many cigarettes? Throat sounds a little scratchy. You're not known to oh. Kikuk's killers. Have any songs been written about you? Uh, maybe. How about you? Only laments. We're the enders of songs. Machine spirit or man spark. We stop them all. Ah, charming. Warmth is for weakness. I have no idea what is going on with these people. No idea. Well, um, well there's more people down there. Elkind and uh, Odund. So we're supposed to go to the Grand Balcony. But before that, looks like we've got ourselves a new side quest. Traitor's Bounty. Uthid, a well-liked Shadow Karja officer, has been marked for death by High Priest Bahavas. There must be more to this than meets the eye. We're supposed to talk to Vanasha. 
let's go ahead and do that because we love side quests. So before we get back to the main quest, we are going to go out here and um, talk to this woman in the green tent. Why is it telling me to go this way? Can I go out this way? This is a balustrade. Oh. It's a short drop from there. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. That is for the main quest. I mean, as far as I know, the way out of here is this way. So we're going to go back out, and we're going to go down and talk to, what's her face, Vanasha? Is that right? I think that's right. I mean, I think I'm going the right way. Do a quick save while we're here. Alright. Keep on motoring. Um, I think we go down this way. I hope I'm going the right way, because this is kind of a far way to go. Pretty sure this is right. I like the idea of hiring mercenaries, but it's better than living amongst traitors. Yeah, she's down here. The food is from Dowager Queen Nasadi, little ones. Her Highness knows times are hard and helps when she can. Eat, but bring some home for your families, if you have one. <laughs> I've heard whispers about you. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. So, tell me again who you are. Stop being evasive and tell me who you really are. Stop being evasive? You might as well tell me to stop being charming. It's impossible, but I like you, so I'll tell you a secret. I have friends in Meridian, and I like to do favors for them when I can. Uthid might be of use to them, if he survives. Boy, the lip syncing is way off right now. I don't know if that's because of these strange loading times that we're seeing. How do you know Uthid is innocent? I'm excellent at making inquiries. Look, he feeds orphans from his own rations and personally punishes anyone who hurts the old or infirm. The idea that he would try to kill Edaman is ridiculous. He must have found something that can embarrass the priesthood. Otherwise, Bahavas wouldn't risk marking such a well-regarded man for death. Huh. What the heck is the Green Climb, anyway? I've never heard of it. What makes you think he's on the Green Climb? Oh, she's heard of it. He knows he'll be pursued, so he needs a hideout that's both familiar and defensible. He once single-handedly held off an entire bandit clan in those foothills. My guess is that he'll fall back on what worked before. Alright, I'll help him if I can. I'll do what I can for Uthid. But what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? <laughs> Useful things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. Hmm, three dead trees, huh? So now we're to go to the three dead trees. Let's see if we can talk to Vanasha again, though. I'm flattered you want to chat more, but if we're going to save Uthid, time is short. All right, goodbye. I've got to go. You really do. Oh, geez. Okay. All right. Well, let's bring up our uh, quests here and um, see where the heck this is. Whoa, way over here. Okay. Well, this is a place I don't think we've been to before. I mean, we haven't activated this bonfire. We haven't activated this one. We haven't activated this one. So this is a part of the map we haven't run through yet. So let's go ahead and run through it. But the usurpers are starving us out, plain and simple. Okay, let me make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, I kind of am. So we're just going to follow this path 
Uh, I need to fill up my uh, medicine pouch because we are hurting in the medicine department. Uh, this is looking like it's going to be a long run. 730, but that's okay. It's a nice night. It's beautiful out here. We've discovered a long leg machine site. I'm not really interested in fighting them. Oh, look at this. Oh, little fox. I'm using the wrong thing to shoot it, I know. It worked. I was too lazy to switch to something else. So, unfortunately the fox did not drop what we wanted it to drop. Sorry you died for nothing, fox. So this thing doesn't shoot regular arrows. This does, though. So... Well, I guess it really doesn't. It shoots these uh, precision arrows. This is kind of expensive. Um... So yeah, I'm not really sure what I should be using here just for shooting foxes. Probably should be using nothing. Should run you. up on them and whack them. So this is a good excuse for us to run along and uh, fill up our medicine pouch. I will say this is a further run than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> for some reason it didn't look like that this long of a run on the uh, map. And... I'm probably also being stupid. I should probably call a mount and do this. Um, but if I call a mount, then I won't be able to stop and pick these things up. Oh, here's another fox. Hey, what's up, little buddy? Ah, another fox that died for no good reason. He didn't have anything for us. Well, we didn't have what we need. I can't remember if it's a skin or a bone or something. We need something from a fox. Gonna put up a fight. Gonna put up a fight. Who, what, where, huh? What are you talking about? You gonna fight this campfire? Okay, so we're saving the campfire. What is what is with the music? Chill out, Aloy. Gosh. I actually want to run to uh, this campfire here. Because I like campfires. I think they're awesome. Oh yeah, there's um, some stuff over there, alright. Oh man, here's something to loot. Not interested in fighting you, so I'm going to run away. Especially since I'm very low, uh, very low on health items. This place is looking kind of dangerous. There's machines everywhere. I wonder if there's more machines at night than during the day. I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing or not. I'm getting close to the campfire. Ooh, did we discover a new place? No, it's just this place here, Shattered Kiln. That was once a bandit camp. It is no longer. Oh, look at this. Here's some goodies on the ground here. Thank you. Ooh, bad day to be a fox. <laughs> and once again, that fox does not give us what we need. Come on, foxes. If you would just give me what you need. I need one fox to sacrifice himself. Give me what I need, then I won't have to kill any more foxes. Do it for your, your fox brothers. Uh, machine site discovered charger. So we are cruising right along here. Hmm, it's kind of a weird way to go. I also want to go to this uh, campfire here too, because it's what I do, man. I go to campfires. Get some water here. Campfires down there. Whoa, okay. Didn't quite make the jump I thought I was going to make. Hey guys, what's up? Campfire discovered. Alright. Activate this one. I get a kick out of activating uh, campfires. I do. Let's see if we can sneak over here and get this health. Oh. There we go. Gather, gather. Okay. So now we are going to uh, run up the hill here. And we'll find the three dead uh, trees. Oh, you're not a fox. But I'm in a killing mood. <laughs> oh, Aloy. They're just little woodland creatures. Trees, just like Vinasha said. Uh-huh. Let's see if Uthid came through here. Alright, now we get to follow some tracks, my favorite thing to do. Grab some of this stuff. 
These tracks lead up that rise. Must be the green climb. The tracks lead up the rise. Alright, let's do it. Let's go up the green climb here. Kind of like how it looks out here at night. It's pretty. So I'm kind of hoping that the game will end with Aloy destroying all the machines. So that people could just run through this beautiful countryside without having to worry about getting killed by machines. But I have to think that she's not going to destroy all the machines because if the machines were destroyed then how could there be a um, Horizon Zero Dawn 2? And if you know the answers to those questions, do not answer me because those would be considered spoilers, right? So, I don't want to know what happens yet. Go to the top of Green Climb! That's what we're gonna do. Um, so, what's stopping this guy from attacking her, right? Whoa. Alright, we need to jump over there. Okay, I'm surprised she made that jump. That was a pretty far jump. Well, this is cool. I think the game's done a pretty good job of directing us to every corner of the map. So that's kind of cool. Um, hmm. Now what? Uh, we jump over there. Y'all ready for this? Oh, that was a crappy jump. The game was kind to me there. Um, there we go. Good job, Aloy. You're a good climber. Hmm. Um. Alright, we'll go this way. Well, it's too bad it's nighttime. Can't really see the view. I guess there's a full moon out tonight because it's still pretty bright out here. There's another tree. Still got more climbing to do, Aloy. Hope you're up to it. Big old tree there. Huh, interesting. There's a climbing point there, but there's also another one here. I guess it was just another way we could have gone. Where are we on the map now? Way up in here. I didn't even consider that we'd get a new quest. Made it. Where did you go, Uthid? Yeah, Uthid, where'd you go, man? Well, let's investigate the camp. We have some tracks. Here Food is. Scraps. I'll bet Uthid stopped to see if he was being followed. Food scraps, dried meat and fruit. He must have kept going. I've got to catch up. Gotta catch up, man. You gotta catch up. We've investigated the camp. Follow the tracks. I thought I marked the tracks. Okay, let's go. You think we're gonna have to run through a machine site to get there? What do you think? What do you think? Maybe some machine site standing between us and him. Huh. There's a machine downed here. Looks like he knows. Machine. Yeah. This had been hunting. Looks like he knows how to handle himself. Following the tracks. Examine the destroyed grazer. Everything useful has been stripped. Everything useful has been stripped. Uthid's been gathering components. I'm for oh, goody. Glinthawks. You know how much I love Glinthawks. Kill the Glinthawks. Well, um... I've got this tie rope here. So i got the tie rope, but the problem is, is that I don't have a weapon that does fire damage. And fire is really good at bringing these guys down. 
Um, I don't know if I could do corruption and make them fight each other, but let's give it a try. Let's see if we can have a little bit of fun with corruption. Whoa. Okay, he's corrupted. That was easy. Um, how come you're not fighting the other ones? Come on, fight each other. Don't fight me, fight each other. Where's the other ones? Must be a glint hawk, you think? Well, I think they're fighting each other. This looks like it's two on one. Yeah, they're fighting each other. He's about ready to lose his, um, corruption, though. I missed him. Ah, damn it. I don't know why he's got a little bit of freeze on him, too. Didn't it look like it? Oh, oh I know why, because the other ones shoot freeze. So they were shooting freeze at each other. Okay, so he's still corrupted. He's fighting the other ones. This is kind of a slow way to uh, try to take him on, especially when you look at how much damage he's done to him. Uh, really, it's more like the other two are doing a pretty good job of taking him down. Okay, so now these two should fight each other. <laughs> See how this goes. This will probably take forever, really. Look, especially when they're as horrible shots as they are. Look how crappy they are at shooting each other. Yeah, get get up close and personal. Fight each other that way. Oh, well, I know, but right now I'm watching some Blood Hogs fight. Yeah, come on. About ready to lose this. There we go. Oh no! There we go charge him back up. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure that when they're corrupted, they will still fight us. They will not uh, ignore Aloy. So let's see if we can have one of these take down the other one. Man, these two, these guys are horrible fighters. They're terrible. Look at this crap. This is terrible. Check Look at this. Focus, yeah, I'll get to that. Well, that did not work out the way I wanted it to, so we're going to switch to our uh, fiery bow, which is... which one is our fiery bow? Uh, not that one. This one here, I should actually um, remove the goodies from it, because I'm, I'm never going to use this bow again, since I have a better war bow. So let's remove this stuff. And um, the same with this thing, I'll never use... Is it, the tri is it a trip caster? No, this is a rope caster. Uh, I'll never use this again. There, get rid of that stuff. And then the other rope caster, I don't have anything in it, so we're good. So, um, let's go back to inventory and which bow? This bow does fire, so we're going to take this one and stick it in the slot. Uh, do I have it equipped for fire? Um, crafting? I do. Okay. So, I'm gonna, uh, shoot this guy with fire. Uh, or I I'm gonna miss him. Oh, what are you doing, Aloy? Did you hate that rock or something? Okay, so now he's shot with fire. We could take this. Whoops. He's tied down and he's dead. He probably burned to death. Can't keep it down. What, are you gonna throw up? What's going on? Okay, so we got some goodies for that one. There's another glint hawk over here that we need to take down. Oh, whoops. He's he's down. And... Um, why am I not getting the opportunity to do a critical shot on him? I don't know. Oh, now we got it. Okay, back to Uthid, she says. Let's go ahead and search this Glint Hawk. And we'll search this one as well. Follow the tracks, follow the tracks. There they are over there. Highlight the tracks. Looks like he took down a big machine, huh? Um, Did I loot everything? I think I did. That's not health. Let's go over here. What did this guy take down? Uthid took down a Ravager. Not an easy kill, but worth it for the parts. And he left some parts behind. Look at that. Look at all those parts he, le parts he left behind. What a moron. Here's another... Dead Watchers. More scrap for Uthid's stockpile. 
I like the sun coming up over there. It's quite nice. Up we go. Oh! <laughs> I fell off. I fell off. Okay, good. The game gave us a way to get back up. <laughs> I thought for sure that was going to be a fall to our death. No, 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 no. You're lucky he's a bad shot. The next one doesn't miss. Uthid? You're young for a bounty hunter. Or am I old for a soldier? I'm not here for the price on your head, Uthid. I believe you're innocent. Innocent? <laughs> Come on, then. If this is a trick, it's a good one. You've earned your kill. That's it, huh? Talk to Uthid. Hey, Uthid, um... Okay, yeah, we're gonna drop down here. Alright. Gonna make friends with Uthid. Oh, hey, look. Uthid, you, do you mind if I uh, loot these uh, machines you took down? You don't mind, do you? I don't think he minds. What's this here? Is this health? Yeah. Still have a ways to go. Before we fill up our pouch. Hey, Uthid, I'm gonna loot your stuff here. <laughs> Look at all that stuff. Thanks, dude. You're all right, man. Oh, is this health? It is nice. Stocking up. Yeah, stocking up. Hey, Uthid, how's it going, buddy? No tricks, just talk. All right. Speak. I want to know what happened at Sunfall. What really happened. All right. For weeks, each dawn in the tent city came with a new death. Always in their sleep, no struggle. The old, the infirm, sometimes the young. Those who couldn't fight for the cause. I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. But it was only a man. And a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahavas for the sun's judgment. Bahavas? The high priest Bahavas? He's the one who put the bounty on you. Yes. He thanked me for my diligence, then had his guards release the villain. You see? It was he who ordered the culling. Then they turned on us. Should have died with my men. So their loyalty meant something. Twenty years I gave to the sun. For what? Malice and murder? As for honor? Sacrifice? True sacrifice? The kind priests and rulers know nothing of? It's all a fat joke. Hmm. If it's honor you seek, the sun car just seemed trustworthy. A little stuck up, maybe, but trustworthy. Those cards at once raided your Nora lands. Raided every land we could reach. It was the sun's will. I did what I was told. Others did worse. But as their captain, I had... Uthid, I don't care what you did. I, I can't absolve you. But the Karja are changing their ways. You could too. Perhaps. Avad doesn't understand what the sun demands of its soldiers. Perhaps he understands it too well. Now you sound like the blameless Murad. <laughs> I can believe you're a good man. But why go with the Shadow Karja in the first place? Why serve them? Because of Itaman, of course. He was the one true Sun King. Itaman's just a child. Yes. An untainted vessel. I believed he was pure. But they used him. Used our faith. I can see that now. No shadows under a noonday sun. Bahavas didn't need to disgrace my name. I did it myself, serving a rotten throne. Well, thanks for the info. Time to go. I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Banasha. But first, we need to get you out of here. What are you? You look like a hunter. You give orders like a soldier who's been out... Mercenaries. Uh-oh. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the plains, Kaja! The mountains belong to us! Key Cook's killers! Key Cook? 
Oh man, there's a lot of them. When we're done with you, you won't even leave an echo. You didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. Mm hmm Come on, Jen. Okay. Get her. Well, um, we're going to kill the Outlanders, and we're going to use the uh, precision arrows to do it. Uh, I wonder, though, if uh, I can turn them against each other with our uh, cool, um, you know, uh, this thing. Let's let's try it. Let's try to turn them against each other with corruption. I don't know if it'll work on humans. Well, let's find out. Oh crap! I didn't even hit him. Okay, I got one. Let's see. Is he gonna start fighting his buddies? No rest. Fight. No. No. Come on, fight each other. It's gonna rain death. It's gonna rain death. Uh, okay, so what does corruption? There they go. Finally, jeez. The fury of the sun. The fury of the sun. The fury of the sun. What are you doing down there, dude? <laughs> that was so funny that he's just hanging out down there. Okay, that's our buddy down here. Um, let's see here. Let's let's be smart about this. There's a guy here we could mark. Is this all of them? I thought there were more than this. Oh, he's coming up. Hey, dude, what's up? Oh, <gasps> that's what you're gonna do, dude. Sun's judgment upon you. Oh, nice whack. It's up to you now, man. Rally, we can still finish them. <laughs> that was great. Oh, damn it. Okay, we'll search him later. Uh, so where are these guys? There's one there. No way to run now. Here comes another one. Oh, hey, what's up? Uthid. Hey, Uthid, how's it going, man? Um, let's do a little bit of fun with this. <laughs> Don't worry, it won't, it won't hurt. Uh, Uthid. Where are they? Nice. <laughs> I like this weapon. Look how far we could shoot it. Look at this. Not hitting them though. Who's hitting me? I'm out of ammo. Craft some ammo. Take a little bit of health. Um. So there's a dude up there. He's walking around down there. Is that is this the only guy left? Oh crap, nice shot, Aloy. Jeez, that was terrible. What? Here it comes. Keep up the attack. We still got another squad on the way. Ooh, we got another squad on the way. Okay, let's switch back to this. Have a little bit of fun with this. All right, you guys need to come down here so I can shoot you. Oh, there we go. That's better. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, look. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. She's on fire. Um, it was kind of fun. Um, turning them against each other. Got him. <laughs> Why don't you guys fight each other? You know? Oh, okay. Well, the good thing is... Hey, how can they shoot me? Oh, damn it. That was a horrible shot. My, apparently my control isn't very good, or my handling isn't very good with this, uh... This weapon. Oh, well. You guys need to fight each other. Come on. Fight each other. Why come you not fighting each other? You're really disappointing me. Oh, man, I can't make any more of these? Crap, man. Alright, well, we'll switch back to this. Oh, hell! Why do I aim so bad all of a sudden? Look at this crap! What the hell? Oh, for crying out loud, I had the wrong freaking arrows chosen. Right in the gut. And you're down. And... I would have had them. Oh, you're not dead. These guys must have some really good armor on. Damn it! Oh, frack. Last thing you'll ever see. Ah! 
be the last. Oh. I've stashed supplies up above. I probably already looted him. So now we're supposed to follow Uthid, but first I want to loot these guys, man. He's got some desert glass, yay. Oh, what you got on you? Slag shine glass. So this is all a bunch of crap that I just carry around with me. Now, the fact that I uh, ran out of um, Getting soaked from melted snow. whatever I need to uh, make my explody bombs, that bothers me. Oh, look, the game doesn't want us to go there. I wanted to get up there and loot those bodies, but I guess I'm not going to be allowed to. Up and over. <laughs> Thought he was going to walk away. Grab what you can while we still have time. Oh, okay, cool. Well, let's grab what we can while we still have time. Gather supplies. Oh, medicine. Yeah, I need that. I I was really uh, kind of lazy. And you know what? I forgot to change my uh, outfit. <laughs> I should have put on a different outfit. <laughs> Some of that was good against arrows. Whoa. Hey, I wasn't done. What, are you afraid of these guys all of a sudden? A robust defense is the most satisfying to break. All right, Marvels. We brought the priest out here, so let's put on a show for him. Oh, there's the priest. Oh, it's this guy. It's Bahavas. I love that hat. That's the greatest. I know that, Hood. We've unfinished business, Bahavas and I. This will be difficult. I think you rallied to a lost cause. I don't intend to die today, Uthid. I did. But you're starting to change my mind. It's nice of those guys to let us stop and talk for a moment. Okay. Um, Mark. 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 Boy, these guys are... They're in a hurry. Um, we'll try the... This business again. So he's he's corrupted. He's corrupted. She's corrupted. He's corrupted. So why don't you guys fight each other now? I got this jerk here. Hey jerk. Ooh! Look at this guy. Don't mess with me. You know? To your left, but my marvels Oh, that's a good guy. So are you guys gonna, um... Oh, hell, I missed him. Okay, we corrupted him. Got her. Hey, ouch. Um, is this a bad guy? Oh, that hurts. Oh, crap. Oh, so I'm stuck in here. Somebody on my tail. Here, fight amongst yourselves. Hey! I hope Uthid's still alive. Oh, look at you. Oh, I keep uh, wanting to lock onto him. Oh! Um, Aloy, you need to get out of there. Alright, time to switch to this, even though I've only got a few left. Oh crap, man. Oh crap. Uh, I am running out of health. It won't hurt Uthid. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Uthid. You'll be alright. Hold them back. <laughs> Uthid is indestructible. Oh, still somebody up there. Come on, peek your head up there. Oh, yeah, got him. Ah, you're as good as dead. You talking to yourself? Say 
Ooh. That's the last of the marvels. Bahamas thought he had enough fodder to keep him safe. Now there's hope for justice. Will you come with me? What the? Wait, I'm not done looting. No! Oh, gosh, I hate it when games do this. I really need to loot because I'm really hurting in the health category and I was hoping some of these guys would just have some health potions. Oh, this is dumb. I, uh, let me loot. This won't uh. be easy. Bahava still has his personal guard. This won't be easy. Yeah, what if I drop back down? Looks like all those bodies are gone. No, they're not. He's what just going to have to help me back up. Oh, damn it. I didn't want to climb back up. I pressed triangle to loot that body, but it was to climb back up. Over here. Yeah, I know. You're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. Resource box, metal shards. There's a health potion. That's what I needed. Metal shards. Metal shards. Not what I need. See, look at all this crap down here, man. Can't leave this stuff behind. Come on. Grabby grab grab. Grabity grab grab. Okay, another health potion tool. Let's switch over to it. See, my medicine pouch is almost empty. And before, when he was like, grab as much stuff as you need. I need you here. It's like, I'm not done yet. You're just gonna have to wait a little bit longer, dude. There's a lot of bodies still left to loot. Uh, here's a little bit of medicine. Okay. And, um... Is there anything back here? Any other bodies or anything? Now, if I drop down there, I'm not really sure what the game would do. <laughs> would he come all the way back here? <laughs> um... Well, I'm not seeing any bodies down there, so I guess the game has already wiped those out. There's bodies over there that I wish I could get to, but it doesn't look like I can... Because remember, we tried to jump up there earlier. Oh, screw it. Let's see what happens. I need you happens. here. It would be really awesome if I could jump up there. Because I, I want those bodies, man. Over here. You're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. You know what that's from? It's from playing streams and automobiles, in case you didn't know. Well, um... I was hoping there would be more goodies back here. I could really use them. Because, uh... The, oh, what's that over there? Oh, that's another kill. See? It's good bodies over there. But, oh well, the game's not going to let me get them. What Screw are you, you doing? game. Up, up and over. What am I doing? I'm trying to be smart and collect this stuff. We already know that Uthid is dumb. He kills machines and leaves the parts behind. Like a big dumb dodo. Oh well. I guess we can't get that stuff. Is that a zip line? Me? What is that? I guess it's a zip line, huh? Huh, interesting. I guess that's how we're gonna get back. Where is this guy? I don't remember. Um uh, over here. Here we go. There we go. Search this now. Alright, cool. Alright. Let's climb up the ledge. Take your time, though. <laughs> this is the longest stupid little cutscene. I wonder if I could skip it. I pressed buttons. Nothing happened. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? <laughs> that was funny. There, you know, I could actually climb up there. Huh. But I'm not going to. I'm going to run this way and hopefully pick up some more medicine. Is that where the bodies are? Yeah, the bodies are down there. Can I drop down here? Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I can loot these bodies now. Great. Health potion. Nice. Cool. Get some metal shards. More metal shards. I need to go down there. Is that you making all that nice Uthid, noise, Uthid? Where am I on the map? We are way far away from anything. We need to go way up here? Huh. 
kind of curious though. What would happen if I was just? Oh, it looks like um, we're kind of kind of hemmed in here by uh, these uh, rocks. Saving these for the trail. I wanted to see if I could get down here. I think I can. Yeah. Uh, I want. I want to go down here to this uh, save point. I'll show the game who's boss. I'll play the game the way I want to play a game. You don't put any save points up there. I'll come down here to my own save point. Plus, I need more medicine. So, this is the smart thing to do. Right? This is me being smart. I'm sure Uthid will be okay. Would it be funny if the game was like, Nope, screw you, Uthid's dead. Uh, so, we run down here. Where's this, um, campfire? Is that the campfire I'm going to? Yeah, it is. Alright. Unfortunately, there's machines between us and there. But I think we'll be okay. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm not here. Don't look at me. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to save my game here. This is where I end my play session. When we come back next time, we'll go back up the hill there and uh, we'll follow Uthid some more. Although, uh, before I start that episode, I'll probably run around and see if I can't pick up some health because I'm hurting in the health department. Well, I hope you enjoyed this play session. If you did enjoy it, won't you be so kind as to let me know by leaving a like or a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you join me again in the next episode.